started your firewood there. Man, it's exciting to see it. Hang on, Lando. I know you want to go. <laughs> yeah, hold, don't let him jump in the water. No, I know he would. <laughs> We were all so excited to see the cabin, but none of us could express our excitement as eloquently as Lando. Sorry. There you go. Look at you. Wow, you got such a happy dog. Oh my goodness, he's just running. Hi, Lynn. Is this your house? Yeah. Okay. I think you guys are good. Thank you Thank so you much. Well, oh, you're very welcome. Have a good evening. Not really here. My garden needs a little bit of work. You got tomato trees growing. What are those? Those trees. Work to do, but it is amazing to be here. Oh, it's like a dream come true. We've been talking about it and thinking about it for so long, and we're finally here. And now we're gonna try to get a boat down off the uh, out of the boathouse and get it going, and then go get the rest of the supplies. Walking through the cabin for the first time in almost two years was something we had dreamed about. Ooh, Look at that. We didn't leave our bedding. Yeah. A bed. <laughs> <sighs> All the room in the world. I forgot about this. And we wanted to fully immerse ourselves in the moment. We love our nomadic lifestyle, traveling to and exploring new places. But every once in a while, especially after a very long journey, there is no better feeling than coming home. It doesn't even look real. It is real. Oh yeah! Oh, smell. Wow. Does that smell good? No way. Everything's in there. Are you happy to be here? Hey, Jenny's in here. Nice. So we've been hoping that this Jenny was up here. It's just a good start for power for us. Brought some fuel. We'll get that going and that'll give us power to the cabin. Sweet. There are some big bass. Super cool. Old system from the 50s. Works just as good today as ever. Saw to support my weight, right? Stepping on the boat.
started right up. I have a little diagnostic tool here for pointing the satellite. It's been two years, so I'm, a, I'm amazed it's in such good shape with all the heavy snow and ice and everything, but it's offline a little bit. But just by pulling on it, I can turn at least one of those green, so I have to go get a couple half inch wrenches and just slowly make some adjustments. Otherwise I have to call in the technician, which is a big deal, but I think I can do it myself. I did it a couple of years ago and it worked, so wrench time. You gotta change all this stuff up. Karen was had the audacity to say she could make a better omelet than me. Wow. Yeah. Is that the island? Well he knows it's full somewhere. Heading into the marina to get some propane. Uh, we have fuel, just no propane, so that's uh, we need that to make the meal. So um, they were closed at the marina, so I just got the uh, little guy, the three pounder, off the jeep, so that'll get us through tonight. Well, guys, we made it. I don't know if I can express how relieved I am, how happy Lando is. Uh, we got the boat in, the water, Pete and Caroline have gone to get more supplies out of the Jeeps. Dan grabbed his fishing pole. He's down on one of the docks. He's already caught some bass. We got the generator running. Um, we're gonna rely less on fuel this year and be running a lot more solar. We'll bring all that to you. The sun is setting in the background. The cabin is nestled in the woods there. Carol's in the house, tidying up, getting it ready for our first night back. It's been almost two years since we've been up here and it's really hard to put into words how awesome it is to be back. This place is paradise. It's for us, it's our home away from home. When we have been on the road for a long time and we need a place to put our feet down, this is exactly the place and we're so happy to be here. Everything went smoothly. We, four days ago, we were in Montana, if you can believe that. Oh, anyway, just, just awesome to be here. Is that nice? Oh, fun?
Good morning from the cabin. We're heading in today or this morning. We're just going to head back to the Jeeps and pick up the rest of the stuff. We've taken about three, four loads in here. Everything's going amazing. We've got the water working. Um, we've got the boat down, of course. Um, we've got power going, generator and solar. Uh, I was able to fix the internet just by going up and making some adjustments on the satellite dish. So we're in good shape. Uh, we're really excited to be here and to start creating some awesome cabin life videos for you. So that's everything? That's every single thing out of the Jeep. The Jeeps came up about three inches in the back. It's yeah, it's all winter, winter, summer, spring, fall, close. With all of our gear out of the Jeeps and at the cabin, it's time to dig into some of the projects we have been so eager to get started on. The first is to get our overgrown, raised gardens cleaned out and ready for planting. At our off-the-grid cabin, most of our appliances run on propane, which we bring in by boat in 100-pound tanks. We have propane indoor lighting, a propane oven and stove, as well as a propane fridge-freezer combo. Once this tank is hooked up, we can get everything up and running for the season. Good job, guys. Our next task is to get the cabin plumbing activated so we can have running cold and hot water to do the dishes and to take a hot shower. Last time we left here was late summer and we, uh, we disconnect the water from the lake and then we sucked in cabin or RV antifreeze and non-toxic stuff throughout the whole system. So now it's just a matter of putting the, the line back in the lake and then we have to prime this line. That's the hard part, get enough water in here and then it should take it in and, and the water system will be back up and running if all goes well. I think there's a plug just straight up on top of there. All right, the pump's up and running after, a, it took us a couple attempts to prime what we did was keep fill, filling the line from up here with the bucket and then just letting it run and then boom it primed and we're good to go. Let's go check uh, the taps inside. It works. Hot water's up and running as well. Very hot. I've been putting our uh, coffee grinds and stuff in here and then I'll get some Collect a lot of leaves, get a big tote, and start collecting those with a rake. Drop them in. And so I don't have to do so many layers of dirt. I can just do the top part. But I'll have to definitely work this a little bit. But that's nice. This year, we're adding to our garden area so we can grow more vegetables. Mixed in with some leaves and different things, I think it'll go good. Nothing like some effort coffee on the top of it. This winter, a few of Dad's brothers, who also have cabins on the island, came up with their snowmobiles and chainsaws and cut down a bunch of dead trees from the forest. They dropped the logs off here in our front yard. The boys are busy splitting the wood up into firewood. Around here, we use firewood to heat up the sauna and the hot tub but also for cooking meals outdoors. 
Some of the firewood will be stored away for the fall and winter. Most of this wood here is pine and hemlock. The softwood is great for making a fast hot fire, but it doesn't last long. Over the summer, we're going to be on the lookout for some good maple and birch hardwood to supplement our fires. A few years ago in one of the buildings here, we found an antique laundry washing machine. We restored it to working condition and have been using it to wash our laundry ever since. What a classic relic from a time when the world wasn't in such a hurry. Hopefully I didn't break my arrow. What'd you hit? My arrow. Time to take a break from the chores and celebrate Dan's 18th birthday. Happy birthday, Dan. Mornings at the island are the best time of the day. Watching the sun come up, listening to the birds and the water gently lapping against the shoreline is a perfect way to start the day. Good morning. We are super excited to be at the cabin. Um, we've been getting things kind of opened up here and uh, surprisingly everything was in really good shape. Uh, after having been away for almost two years, it was really shut down properly so we're happy about that. I just got the smoker going this morning. We're going to do a brisket. We're doing it fat side up. Going to get some good smoke on it for about two hours and then we'll wrap it and turn up the heat a little bit to about 225 and just low and slow all day long. Back Give me six hours to chop down a tree, and I will spend the first four sharpening the axe. Abraham Lincoln. While Peter is doing some maintenance on the tools, Dan gets busy replacing any boards on the docks that didn't survive the winter.
Lando is a very smart dog, but sometimes he can't tell the difference between a vegetable garden and the rest of his play area. Well, do it in half of that. So we are building a little twine fence around the gardens to keep him out. Looking good. That brisket's been on since uh, about 9.30 this morning. It is now 3.30, so we're getting close. Uh, we've got it covered, so we're gonna leave it for another hour, hour and a half, and uh, maybe, maybe two hours, because I really love it when it's super soft. There's so many different ways to do brisket, but I like sliced brisket, and when you pull it apart, it just breaks with a little snap, so that's what we're going for. While this brisket is smoking, we're working on some other really fun projects. One, we've got the hot tub filling over here, and it's been dry for two years, so uh, as you know, the cedar kind of dries up, it shrinks a bit, and there's cracks between the staves, so we've been slowly putting water in it to allow them to expand. And once they fully expand it, then the water can fill up, and then we can light the fire in there, and man, I, there's many times on the road over the past two years that I've been dreaming of just dipping into that hot tub, nice still hot lake water, and just soaking my tired bones. So uh, this is something I've been looking forward to for a long time. So hopefully we can get that going. Uh, Carol's been busy with all her projects. She has going all the time. She's working on planting a garden so we can uh, grow our own vegetables and put them away in the fridge for winter. She is constantly collecting rocks and gravel, and we'll show you what that project looks like. But it's really neat. She's making her own walkway out of uh, bigger pea gravel and underneath that is smaller gravel. And that just keeps the deck clean and ultimately the house a lot cleaner so we're not tracking in needles. So, so many things happening and we just got here. So we're super excited to show you guys what life is like up here at the cabin. back up to our island. It feels really, really good to be back. It's such an awesome place for us to come after, you know, it's been almost two years on the road. And as much fun as that is, it's always really nice to have something like this place in the back of your mind as a, a place to go and relax and, um, you know, work on fun little projects. Up here, there's an abundance of things to do. This year, we're really excited about it because uh, we're gonna be getting into possibly milling wood and restoring some of the old cabins that are up here and you know it's stuff like that that could be considered a job but you know while we're up here it's it's relaxing even when we're sitting there sweating and working really hard on something it's it's a joy and we can just hop in the lake like right behind me is a part of the lake and we've got a huge lake to go out and fish and swim and just have fun on and that's the beauty of this place for us we get to do a lot of bushcrafting and fun things that sometimes you don't have the time to do while we're driving and plus we'll have uh, a lot of opportunities to see family it's been a while i think we left off seeing a lot of our cousins um in tofino bc which was awesome but that that was over a year ago now so it'll be really good to meet up with them again and so we'll just use this time to uh, relax and have fun but also start planning our next adventures <laughs> So we've been collecting uh, the, this rock here for the pathway, just so that it keeps the cabin a lot cleaner and the deck a lot cleaner. Um, otherwise, it's just a whole lot of needles coming in the house. So around the lake, there's little deposits of this 
kind of gravel and it's perfect for it. It's kind of a lot of work, but Pete helps me carry it from the boat up to here and then uh, just dump it and spread it. But it's the old fashioned way of just scooping with your hands and getting little rocks, but it's looking really good. All right, so we finally made it back up north to our cottage in Canada, and I'm really excited to be back up here. It's almost been two years since the last time, and I was really missing it. Um, this is one of my favorite places on the planet, and it's pretty easy to see why. Just everywhere you look is just, you're surrounded by this gorgeous just wilderness that you can go explore and hike into. The last time we were up here, Peter and I started exploring a bit more of the, the uh, surrounding lakes because there's this lake we're on and then there's tons all around us. So we started uh, portaging, carrying the canoes from each place to place and I really want to do more of that because we've been talking about it for, seems like forever and it, it just feels really good to be back up here and able to do all that stuff. And uh, you know, this is the place we come to, uh, you know, kind of relax and take it easy hey Lando but you know one of the thing that makes this place so special is the little projects we have we recently were putting in a garden you know we have this huge pile of wood that Peter and I have been splitting up and those projects working up here working isn't work I mean everything you do up here is fun you're surrounded by a lake you know not many people can say when they're working and they get all sweaty that they can just walk 10 feet either way and jump into the water cool off so you know this is truly just a special place it's it's amazing I'm so excited to see what we can get up to this year Lando certainly loves it don't you Lando come here come tell everyone how much you love the island okay yeah Lando likes it We've just been running around chasing squirrels, no collars, free as can be. You know how many other dogs would like to do that? You can just run and run and run all day. Come lay down by the fire at night. Go back, go, go, go have fun. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So I've just come out here on a walk into the forest that surrounds our cabin and I wanted to capture some of the beauty of the forest after a heavy rain. We had a big rainstorm move in over the lake this afternoon and it was amazing and it was powerful and the thunder was just so loud and it was raining really heavily so I already knew that the forest was going to smell amazing after and just be so fresh. There's something about after the rain, everything is so fragrant and the colors are so vibrant and the birds are singing and it's just amazing, especially right now in the springtime. So I wanted to share that with you all. It's, it's like time stands still out here. Everything is so peaceful and serene. It's like its own little world. And then there's also the vast wilderness that surrounds the lake and is on the shores of the lake and that always has been something of kind of a mystery because it's kind of what's beyond the island and it always lures you in to want to explore it more because it's so beautiful. You can see across the channel that you can just peek through the dense trees into the wilderness and you see the sun shining on the moss and the rocks and it just looks like so much fun to explore.
So far, we have planted lettuce, tomatoes, several varieties of peppers, as well as cucumbers, squash, zucchini, and a bunch of other plants that in the past, we've had good success growing in this climate zone. Thank you for watching this week's video. Make sure to stay tuned for next week as we continue with the Epic Family Road Trip Off the Grid series. As always, we thank our sponsors and our Patreon family for your support in helping us create family-friendly programming on YouTube. If you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe and hit the little bell to be notified anytime we post a new adventure. And in the meantime, we'll see you down the road.